Those birds are being really loud all of a sudden. Hold on, let me close the window. <laughs> oh my god. Birds. Chill. Alright, cool. No more bird interruptions. <laughs> Good start. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to War Thunder. Today we're going to be playing uh, some light tank destroyers with pretty damn good guns. And uh, yeah, I mean, this this tank has been a, a scourge of, of the game for a very long time. It, and when I say scourge, I mean th these things are terrifying to fight. They can really, really do numbers I I in games. And uh, yeah, they, they're quite quite terrifying to meet on the battlefield, to be entirely honest. Uh, but uh, <laughs> it's not this one. It's this one, baby! <laughs> oh! You thought I was going to be playing the M18 Hellcat! I'm not! I'm playing the Pack Puma! <laughs> uh, well, now that that crazy twist is out of the way, we can now go into why I'm playing the Pack Puma today. This is an event vehicle that was available like last year, I think, or maybe 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 two years ago. Uh, and and the new Operation Summer for this year is coming up, so uh, there might be some more vehicles like this. Uh, if if the leaks that I saw were correct, there might be a stubby short 75 version of this coming in the Operation Summer, or I could just be talking out of my ass. So don't take anything I say about like leaks seriously. I'm not a data miner. I just I, I I just hear what people say, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that sounds cool. That could be a thing that happens. Advantages and disadvantages of the pack puma. Advantages, it's a fucking pack. <laughs> disadvantages, uh, uh, it's it's just a it's a lovely little basket for any any kind of aircraft that is coming overhead. They're just like, oh yeah, I, I don't mind taking a pick of those eggs. I'll just take those and pop a couple fifty cows in there, and we'll we'll have a we'll have a grand old time. And yeah, uh, uh, yeah, that is the downside. But you can sometimes do really well, provided that your team one has a little bit of good air for cover, or, or alternatively, the enemy team doesn't spawn in too many planes. Uh, which means that early game, generally this thing's quite good, and then late game it's quite weak, because uh, obviously as more people play the game, they're going to spawn in their tanks, they're going to run out of like spawns for tanks, because the tank spawn points will increase, and then they'll only be able to spawn in a fighter, and so they'll be looking for anything that they can possibly kill with like their Spitfire or their P-40 without bombs or something, and they see a pack Puma and they're like, Whoa, baby! Uh, I mean, I'm like that when I see an M10 and I've got any kind of plane with cannons, but uh, yeah, we're going to see how we do today. Hopefully not uh, terribly bad. Uh, I I've actually played this vehicle enough to unlock all of the unlockable camouflages, so um, yeah, I mean, I I'm, <laughs> I'm quite, quite sad with this thing. Anyway, into the battle, here we go. I'm going to give it a go and see if I can get to this position and see if it's anywhere near as effective. Because if I can get to it, it could really do well, I guess. If I if I do do if I do get to it, that is. So we're going to use our speed. And oh, it's a very... This is a really good fucking spawn point. Ah, it's another Pike Puma! <laughs> oh, these things are pretty rare nowadays to see. So that's that's always nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> yes, boy. <laughs> oh, that worked better than I could ever have hoped. This guy has no fucking clue where I am either. Come on, KV. 
No, none of that. <laughs> M22 has been out sneaked. I think the KV1 went uh, down to sea and is now either dead or not a threat to me anymore. Oh shit! No, 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 no! I suck! I suck! Why do I suck? I gotta help the other pack, Puma! Okay, okay, he's safe, he's safe, he's safe. I got him, dude, I got him. Yes! Saved him. Oh, why did I screw that up so bad? I made such a fucking meal of that. <laughs> that could have gone so badly. Okay, cool. Well, that's that done. Oh my god, this fucking position is so good. <laughs> Oh, I love this map sometimes, <laughs> especially when I'm in pack pumas. I mean, any map is good when you're in a pack puma, let's be honest. Uh, some people will be coming for revenge, though, I'd imagine. Hopping in their planes and... <laughs> Getting angry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? I, I mean, come on, four kills already. This fucking tank... You know, weeb vehicles just cannot compete with the might of the mighty, mighty, mighty pack Puma. Whoop. Oh my god, I love this vehicle so much. That's five kills. Five? I thought I had more. Oh well, five kills. Uh, not bad. Not bad for for how long we've been going. Oh, it's only, uh, it's only one of those boys. Oh my god, how is Gunner still alive? Okay, um, sure. Fair enough. Oh yeah, there he is. It's a flipping Churchill. It's n like the last thing I expected. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, Churchill, why not? Come on, and... Oof. Got him. Cool. Sherman Doan. Now, who's this in C? Ooh. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> this is fine. That was... Uh, it's German doctrine, you know, shock and awe. Oh, there we go. Cool. Oh. Woo, backup vehicles, yay. Eh, whatever. And I've researched... 139th. No, 1390th, sorry, of, of the KPZ-70. Woo! <laughs> well, that's the pack puma for you. Uh, yeah, fucking good vehicle. I like it. <laughs> if you ever get the chance to get one of these again, I definitely do advise like uh, either cashing out if they're selling it or grinding for it if it's an event uh, because it really is a, a good fun vehicle to play and it's pretty much like everything you'd ever want in a tank apart from armor. <laughs> But anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a like, give it a comment if you want. If you want, give it a dislike if you hate me. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Now everyone's going to dislike it. Ah, well, whatever. Thanks for watching. Bye! Oh, what was that? That was like the like the highest pitch outro I could have possibly done. <laughs> Nine fifty seven? Nine fifty seven. 
I mean, I gotta get it to 10 minutes somehow. 